this month I made $1,472 and hey what's up YouTube I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show in this episode I'm going to show you guys how exactly how much I made in one month from doing cash secure puts and covered costs now I know you guys know exactly what buying an option is that is betting that a stock is going to go up or betting that a stock is going to go down well I do the opposite I sell options right so I know you guys are wondering hey what is selling options well but first of all i would say that selling options is much safer than gambling and buying options unless you are a well-trained trader buying options is pretty tough um, reading the market is pretty tough but if you're selling options that means if you're in a win-win scenario but you have to already own 100 shares of one company in order to sell options on that company so you are the one selling your options to these people that are buying options i already did a video over that explaining exactly what it is on how to do a cash secure put in a covered call if you want to check that out click right here that'll take you straight to that video if you want to learn more about that um, i could explain it really quick but before i explain it if you guys do want to pick up some free shares i'm gonna leave a link down in the description to weeble sign up deposit any amount of money you can deposit one penny if you want to and you receive up to 12 free stocks with those 12 free stocks you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you can sell those 12 free stocks and withdraw all of your money it's going to be valued all the way up to twelve thousand dollars also i'm gonna leave a link in the description to mumu you sign up deposit one hundred dollars and now you can receive up to 20 free stocks with those 20 free stocks keep them in the platform decide to use it or sell those 20 free stocks and withdraw all of your money guys it's literally free money do not miss out on this amazing opportunity guys but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video welcome back dreamers go ahead hit that subscribe button if you'd like to help out this channel just a little further but here we are on amd as you guys can see um my average cost on amd is at 73 dollars and nine cents so selling it at any price above 73 dollars is a win for me so let's go ahead and hit trade let's imagine i had 100 shares of amd i'll hit trade and hit trade options and other than having to say buy a call I'm going to sell a call. That mean I own 100 shares of AMD. So here we are on December 9th. Right now is Monday. So this is but this is after market on Monday. So this is four days out, December 9th. So in, remember, any price above $73 is a win for me. I'm going to make profit. So let's say I picked this 76 call right here. That means if AMD does not reach $76 let's say amd pulls all the way down to 72 dollars or goes up to 75 dollars but if amd does not reach 76 dollars i'm going to keep 65 cents per share remember it's 100 shares so that's going to be 65 dollars and that's how i collect premiums every single week on these companies by by doing covered calls that's right so if amd do not reach 76 dollars at the end of the day this is the simplest as it get if it does not reach 76 dollars I guess to keep my 100 shares and I guess to keep the $65. Now, if AMD do reach $76, let's say it goes up to $76.50 or $77. I am forced to sell my 100 shares at $76, but I also get to keep the $65. Remember, I, I have AMD right now at $73. So I will make the profit from $73 to $76. And I will also get to keep the $65 in premiums on AMD. So that is a win-win scenario. Yes, would I have loved to hold on to the shares? sure but you never lose money when you selling and making profits so yes i'll be forced to sell that 76 dollars and then once i do sell it that's when you switch over to selling puts so once you switch over to selling puts you do not own 100 shares but you will wish to own 100 shares so let's say you were forced to sell 100 shares of amd at 76 dollars and now you want to get them back at six at 75 dollars so you'll pick one like that and if amd do pull back to 75 you will be forced to buy 100 shares back at 75 but you will also keep the premium of 229 dollars so that's how i've been creating uh passive income every single week by selling cash secure puts and cover costs on certain options now on these let's say four stocks that i'm going to bring you guys today that's all i did that's all i did last month was four stocks i usually rotate between four and six stocks that i do cash secure puts and cover cars on but last month I only did four good setup 
only did it on fuck companies that I had seen a good setup on. So let me show you guys exactly how much I made from selling these um, cover calls and cash or kill puts on these companies. Welcome back Germans. Here we are on the first one I did, which was Netflix. Yes, Netflix. I did four on Netflix in the month of November, one, two, three, four. And I had sold a call for $28, sold another call for $73. And I was forced to sell at $285, which was fine with me. So now it's time for me to sell puts to get those 100 shares back. And I had collected $245 and another one for $515. And this is December. So for the month of November alone on Netflix, I made $861. Dollars. That's right, guys. $861 in passive income and premiums from selling cash or care puts and cover costs on Netflix. Now, the next one is Coin Coinbase. I did two on Coinbase in the month of November for a sale called 70 and 70, and I collected for a strike price of 70 and 70, and I collected $42 and $20. So for Coin, I made $62 in the month of November. The next one is NVIDIA. I did cover calls on NVIDIA as well. I just did one for 150 and I collected $39 in premium on NVIDIA in the month of November. So that's $39 on NVIDIA. Could have did more, but I didn't see the perfect setups for NVIDIA. And the last one I did for the month of November, I, us I usually do some on Google and Tesla, but I didn't last month. Didn't see a good setup, but I did some on Apple. So let's go to Apple. Let's scroll down. I did one, two, three, four. So I did one every week in Apple. I saw one for, I did a cover call for $44. I did another cover call for $62. Was forced to sell those at $147. So it's now for me to sell puts to get those back. Um, I collected $196. And then the last one, I collected $208. For the month of november on apple i made 510 dollars so with all of those combined with those four this month i made 1472 dollars in premiums just from selling options with my stocks now i must admit that's more than i usually make that's because i was forced to sell apple and netflix and then i am getting those back and it looks like this week i might actually get those back so that's pretty cool but i just had to show you guys another way that uh you make more money when you actually have 100 shares of a stock than just buying multiple different stocks because now you can sell options once you reach 100 shares so i always say hey build your portfolio up to 100 shares before you move on to your next stock so that you can start selling options on the shares inside of your portfolio and create passive income that way because it's way better it's 10 times better than dividends i made that in a month it would take me a portfolio of almost um a hundred thousand dollars in an entire year to, to make that in dividends that i made in just one month selling covered costs and cash secure puts on the stocks in my portfolio so me selling options inside of my portfolio has actually kind of balanced my portfolio out as the stock market has been pulling back 30 40 50 percent this year uh, my portfolio has been kind of trading sideways because as the stock market has been pulling back I've been selling these um, cash you can put some cover call to kind of um, get those premiums back to kind of balance out my portfolio so I don't have too big of a loss inside my portfolio so I could try to dig my way back out of that massive hole that happened this year but I'm going to continue to buy stocks while they're low and hopefully on the rebound on five ten years down the line the prices that we're looking at right now will be a complete steal compared to where they will be five ten fifteen years down the line so if you guys do want to learn how to do cover costs and cash secure puts you could check out the pin um link down in the comment section that'll take you to my patreon the patreon will take you to my discord i post every single time i post my um cash secure puts and cover costs inside of the discord i post every single time i buy and sell a stock and i post my option trades and swing trades in there and technical analysis and we also have pro day traders in there that post the option trades every single day so if you want to be a part of a community of traders that want to be financially free just like you go ahead and check out that pin comment down in the comment section but that's it guys let me know do you do cover calls do you do cash secure puts let me know down in the comment section what companies do you use what companies have good premiums because not all companies have good premiums like i seen 
uh, this one person asked me about agnc which is a uh, uh, which is a uh, real estate read uh other etfs and uh, other people have 100 shares in these other etf those premiums are not as high as they would in some of these other companies so let me know if you are using the strategy what companies are you using down in the comment section i can't wait to see what you guys are um how you guys are creating passive income by selling options but other than that guys make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future video if you want to go the extra mile hit that thumbs up button because that, that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine but other than that i'm zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace